53.7% of 80% of statistics is made up on the spot, including what I just told you. You know what's not made up on the spot? The answer to a very simple question. Should you upgrade your front suspension first or your rear suspension? All right, hey, Chase with Legend Suspensions. And just like the title says, it's a really popular question we get asked a lot, whether it's trade shows or, you know, social media questions. It's, do I want rear suspension first? Do I want front suspension first? And to answer that, we really just have to narrow it down with a couple of questions that's gonna definitely help you decide which one of these is gonna be better for you. Now, front and rear suspension handles very different things on a motorcycle, much more of your performance and your handling is gonna come from your front suspension, where considerably more comfort is gonna come from your rear suspension. So the questions that you have to ask yourself is, do you care how uncomfortable your motorcycle is? Or maybe that bike slams down when you hit the front brakes and that's giving you a wobble. Or maybe you don't like the confidence level you have when you're cornering. And those are all symptoms that can be corrected with suspension. So again, that popular question is, do I need front suspension? Do I need rear suspension? And the fact of the matter, truthfully, is you're gonna gain the biggest increase in your overall ride quality and performance by upgrading both of them. Now, whether it's a budget-related question or maybe you're somebody who just likes to do one upgrade and then do the other just to feel those differences, you can absolutely do that. But when you get suspension that is valved in the front end and in the rear suspension to act the same and to function together in one harmony, you're gonna get the biggest increase because they handle different things. This is giving you a bigger jump in your cornering and stability, where this is giving you a bigger jump in your comfort level. You're still getting comfort out of the front, you're still getting better performance out of the rear. So. If your bike is in extremely uncomfortable, maybe it's beating you when you go down the road and it's just, you're feeling every bump. Maybe something like rear suspension is the way to go, where if you really don't care for how your bike is handling or cornering or how it feels when you slam on the brakes in an emergency or an evasive maneuver, then front suspension is definitely gonna be the way you wanna go. They pair very well together no matter what you select, but you can absolutely do them one at a time. What you end up running into, truthfully, is you're improving one aspect of a motorcycle and then leaving the other portion stock. So while you are going to feel a noticeable difference by new rear shocks, eventually over time what can happen is it's gonna tend to point out that the front suspension's maybe not holding up its end of the bargain. And on the flip side of that coin, the exact same thing for the front end. If you're after some more performance, you throw a front suspension in, it's gonna absorb bumps like a dream. It's gonna improve your handling and your cornering and your stability at high and low speeds. But maybe eventually you start to notice that that rear suspension's really not keeping up its end of the bargain and it's way stiffer or way too soft than what you're actually wanting. And that's where pairing these together really comes in handy because you're getting a perfect match set designed to work together to drastically change the overall ride and feel of your motorcycle. Now, there's not much more to it than that, is it really just boils down to picking apart those different aspects of how the bike feels and handles, and maybe just deciding, is front suspension something I'm going after first, or is it rear? or do I wanna just make a huge change and get it all done at one time? There's definitely times where front suspension can be a little bit easier to do. Maybe you're chroming out a front end, maybe it's time for fork seals where you're taking that front end apart and it's time to drop that front suspension in because you're already in there doing it. You've already got your bags off, you've already got a wheel off, getting a new tire put on or something like that. Maybe it's time to take a real good look at those shocks and make sure they're even functioning the way that they're supposed to you might find that an upgrade is in order. Um, whether your tire's wearing funny or those types of things, these are suspension items that is hidden inside of a fork tube, or maybe it's behind a saddlebag. 
unless you got the arcs with the cool little reservoir that you can mount up top. But either way, they often tend to be overlooked. And when you do decide, I need this or I need that, that argument comes along of which one do I do first. Do them both if you can. Comfort, go after the rear. A little bit more performance and handling. More high speed maneuvering. Definitely do a front end. Hope that answers your questions. If you have any additional questions on that, check with your local motorcycle shop. Maybe they have a Legend Suspensions demo bike that you can ride or shoot an email to service at legendsuspensions.com. We've got a crack team of experts that would be more than happy to walk you through your bike, your setup, your riding style, and help you pick out the perfect kit so that you can pick it up and change your ride. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Yeah, 57.3% of statistics I don't know if I like that one. Scripted or unscripted? Unscrupulous? That's not the right word for all. Does your front end feel more unstable than the leader of this country? That's a red flag. Does your front end feel more unstable than Stacy in accounting? That's a red flag. Yeah, I guess I'm out of them. <laughs> blinky blinky. Let's go Brandon. <laughs>